The rushing emphasis Saturday went from tailback in the first half to landing in the second half. What was, what'd you see there? What was the reason? Well, we we were trying to uh, you know trying to do the the best job of being able to take what they were allowing us to to, to get, and you know, we were able to get a couple of early ones in, in in the first half, and and you know we try to get try to get those guys going a little bit, and as it got a little bit tighter, you know we kind of thought from a number standpoint, you know. The one thing that's hard to account for sometimes in, in offensive football is the quarterback. Uh, you know, and obviously we got to got to do a better job of finishing out those games and, and you know being able to to run the ball effectively at the end of the game. Um, you know, I think we thought we we saw a few things that we could do offensively with with the quarterback running and had some success doing it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what they allowed us to do a little bit more. How do you? Weigh that in your head versus uh, taking what they're giving versus maybe wanting to get you know a guy like Mike who's obviously a talented player of the ball even if it might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, it's hard. You know, I think you 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 have to consistently find creative ways sometimes to get those guys the ball and you know I think we did. We had a couple little schemes you know here and there to get to get Mike the ball that you know maybe they I don't know if they were expecting it. We, things that we haven't shown before. Uh, just some things we thought we could do to get Mike the ball on the edge a little bit there, and and uh, obviously we tried to kind of get some of those run plays a little bit faster to, to you know, kind of catch them off guard and not let them get set and, and those kind of things. So yeah, there's a it's a blend of both. You know, you have to you have to you can't be stubborn, uh, but at the same time you have to remember that running the football is really important. Joel but, said that he thought a couple of them were designed runs specifically, but a lot of them were maybe him making reads and deciding what to do. How much is his reading? improved over the last several weeks as the offense has? Well, I, you know, I think he continues to, to progress in, in both the passing game and the running game. Um, you know, there was a few that uh, that we, we did, we kind of created for him to run the football, but most of those were, we actually, you know, I think there was a little bit, of, I, th I thought that Mike was going to be able to get it, and uh, they kind of, they made a little bit of adjustment, took it away from him, so we had to, you know, run Joel a little bit, but uh, I think he's done a really good job. I, you know, he, he studied very hard to, to make sure that he knows exactly who he's reading uh, and how the defense will react. Uh, but he, he's done a good job consistently, you know, approaching the football game with the right manner. How has his decision making in terms of passing gotten better? Well, you know, I think he I think he understands the concepts better. You know, I just it's. Uh, you know, in, in college football, you know, there's it's a, not obviously an NFL playbook, but, you know, with, with all the audibles and the millions of things, but it's still quite complex for, especially for a guy that, you know, he, he started a few games last year, but, you know, consistently week in and week out, you know, it, it's a lot of things going on. And I think what's what's difficult about college football is you may play a different defense every week. You know, there's uh, sometimes there's, there's a lot of overlap from what you see from the week prior to or maybe two weeks before. Uh, sometimes it's completely different, you know, so the, the different structures of the defense, whether it's front wise or whether it's, you know, in the secondary, I think can create a lot of problems. And, and I think what he's done is been, he's been able to handle uh, the different looks from week to week a lot better um, as the years went on, even, you know, and understanding what we're trying to do. Have you given him more rain, I guess? Did, you know, more chances to make his own decisions kind of on the fly there, I guess? Uh, you know, we, there, not really, you know, and uh, I don't know if that's really something we'd really do. You know, we, we, we kind of try to put it in our hands as far as making sure we're in the plays. Uh, that's really on me. That's not Joel. You know, his his job is to try to execute the plays, and my job is to try to put him in the best position. So I think it's unfair sometimes to put a, a college kid in the position to uh, have to call all the plays because that's he didn't get paid to do it, you know. Um, so, no, but, you know, I think he's done a good job handling what we've asked him to handle. The last couple of weeks, Texas has given up a lot of yards passing, um, had some relatively long passing plays. Do you, what's that mean for you guys? I don't know. You know, I, I don't. I don't know. Hopefully, we can get some mm -hmm. passing yards too. You know, I, I think they're 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 very talented, and, and you know, they do create a lot of problems uh, for you. They create a lot of problems with their with their front, with their pass rush, and. You know, the linebackers are extremely talented football players and, and they're talented in the secondary as well. And I think if you look back at the teams that have got a lot of yards on them, they're really good football teams too, you know. So, uh, again, we're going to have to try to do what we can to, to move the ball efficiently, effectively, and, you know, try to get the ball in the end zone the best way we can. So, you know, we just have to continue to study and, and make sure that we're putting our guys in the best position, 
you know, to be successful with with whatever we're going to do offensively. Were those short pass, long runs, or were they? Uh, no, they or? were. Uh, th there's been a uh, there was a few deep balls. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a few on third down that, that got them. Uh, Oklahoma State hit a couple uh, deep balls, and, and on, quite honestly, a couple crazy plays too, where the ball bounced one way, and you know, so I think it may be a bit misleading. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think they're very talented, and, and I do. I think they're really well coached. They're very multiple in what they do. Um, you know, so. It's, yeah, there's a variety of different ways that, that yards have been gained. If you look at any game, that's kind of how it happens. You know, you never you never quite know when they're going to go, you know. What did you learn about DeShante's decision-making abilities or he was put in that position because you already knew what kind of capabilities he had? But... Well, you know, I, again, I think that the, just his him play, have playing that position before of, of playing quarterback, I think, you know, when you – when you ask him to do some different things, I think there's a little bit of an innate ability to just kind of go do it, you know, without having to tell him too much, you know, hey, if they're covered, run it, you know, kind of thing like that. And, uh, you know, I think he just kind of sees the field really well. So I think, you know, you feel comfortable and, you you know, obviously you're, you're kind of grateful that he saved my butt a couple times, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he did a great job. All right, Coach, thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.